Praise the Lord, everybody. My name is Sean Henry Scott Sr. Today is 3-31-2019. I'm in sunny Florida, Wellington, Florida. And I feel compelled to elaborate, not explain, but the Bible says, no, if I get, get an understanding. And because there's a lot of people I know now that I have not known for a very long time in my life, I feel the need to elaborate on the extension of the things that God is doing in the ministry at this present time and season. Recently, I have shared with the world that I have, I am laboring again, once again, with my second ex-wife, Angela Marconi. For a lot of people, this is a shock, which I don't understand why, but that's why I feel compelled to elaborate. Let me go back. We were married in 96 or 97. And I'm not going to get into the details of the relationship, but I thank God that she, I believe she is 100% completely healed and delivered from every kind of addiction and all the things that she had to go through to get to where she is. But um, I'm not going to get into all them details, but you know, the marriage didn't last very long, a couple years maybe, but the, the, the point I'm trying to make and share is the fact that through from 96 to today is 2019, um, and she just I just licensed her to be part of the ministry less than a week ago um, We've been in communication obviously on and off through my other marriages um, we've worked together on numerous of uh, projects and um, I'm this type of person and people who know me Be 50 next year. I mean next month people who know me can attest to this um, You know forgiveness the past is the past. If God puts you in my path and we're supposed to do some things together or, or, or accomplish some things together, let's go. I ain't got time to talk about spilled milk. Um, I don't deserve to be here. I didn't ask to be here. God birthed me here for, for a purpose, reason, and season. And I want to fulfill everything that God has called and created me to do. Who he uses to do that? Yeah, I have a choice to work or not work with people. But I would be a fool to not work with people that I have personally, physically, financially, and emotionally have invested in. That's, that's crazy. Why wouldn't I work with somebody who I've sown an immense amount of time, love, compassion into? So, like I said, I don't feel the need to explain myself, or but there is an understanding that's needed because generally in this carnal world we live in, when people see any exes working together for any reason, they start to think all kinds of crazy stuff. And the Bible says not to let your good be evilly spoken of. So for those who don't really know me or understand me, um, or even the ministry or how God uses me um, uniquely, unlike the way he may or may not use other people, I feel led to, like I said, to share. And I'm excited. And I'm excited for a very a lot of reasons. Number one, the last time me and Angela worked together, for those who know Angela, she is a, a, a licensed cosmetologist. Um, she has a, a, a manager's license or whatever it takes. God had gave me a vision for free salons, free full service salons. I mean, all the time, Monday through whatever, every day, free salons. And when he gave me that vision, um, we wasn't working together at that time. That was back in 2000 and some, early 2000s, early 2000s, you know, 2000. Uh, one, two, three, four, when God gave me the vision for that. So a lot of stuff I don't share with people because it's so astronomical and huge. I'm like, number one, I don't, I'm not a cosmetologist. I don't have a license. Uh, you need those things to be able to get a salon and keep the salon open and operating. So when they come to inspect you, they want to know who's the, who's the cos managing cosmetologist. So I didn't, I had the vision long before we started working back together. And so I was in my third marriages and situations and circumstances had brought uh, her back into my life. You know, we there's two step kids, Amanda and Tony. So we got back in cahoots somehow, you know, communication and our ministry was in a position to be able to help her with housing and to help her pay, get her license reinstated and get her back on her feet, get her going real good. Um, she needed to leave to where she was at that present time. so. I spoke with my wife, I spoke with the ministry heads, and they was like, hey, let's go, you know. So we, we, we started that, we got, got back together. God opened up doors for us to have the salons. And we opened up the north side 
first or do the west side. Well, either way it goes, we had one on the north side and one on the west side. That's not the story. The story is the fact that those wouldn't have been able to be done without her input. You know, I, I, I'm not going to say that God wouldn't have performed it or that he wouldn't have done it, but he used her. So with, with the help of her, I was able to operate in a vision that God gave me years before she came back into, you know, we came back into working together. So, I mean, the testimonies are endless. I still have a lot of testimonies of the people, of the women who came in, uh, Channel 4, 4 and 6, I think, but definitely 4, I believe, came out into the story because we had the only full service everyday salons that was 100% free for anybody and everybody. And not only did we have one, we had two. So, man, yeah, that's the type of work that we was able to do last time. So I'm ecstatic about what God's going to do this time. I have no idea what God's going to do, but I was just compelled and led by the Holy Spirit to give her everything she needed to do everything we're about to do because of what God's getting ready to do. So I don't know who you are, where you are, but I just wanted to share share those facts because it's important that as we walk this walk, live this life, and we're on this journey, that we don't close any doors that God didn't close, and we don't try to open nothing that God didn't open. We just simply do what he's called us to do. So when we stand before him one day, he can say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. That's the goal. That's the only goal I have. No, we're, in, we're not in any kind of relationship other than ministry. It's been like that for, for years, for years, years, years. I will hope one day that I have the kind of relationship with all of my exes that I do with her. You know, we communicate, we talk about the Lord, we work in ministry. I'm in Florida, she's in Columbus, Ohio, and I'll be in West Virginia, she'll still be in Columbus, Ohio. But the work that we're gonna uh, reestablish and do will be in Columbus, Ohio. And hopefully, eventually, it'll grow so big that we'll be traveling back and forth and do what God calls us to do. Uh, I believe she's 55, and I'm 50, so we still got some years left on this earth, if, if, if that's God's will. So pray for us and pray for the work in the ministry. And most of all, pray for the things that I believe God's going to do through us for the, for the kingdom. God bless you.